You're watching Game Show Network. This is Joe Girard of Detroit, Michigan. If you want to find out what he does for a living, you can turn to page 247 in the Guinness Book of World Records, or you can stay with us as we all play... What's my line? <laughs> and now, let's meet this week's panel. Soupy Sales. Yay! Anita Gillette. Yay! Andy Morgan. Arlene Francis. Yay! And the host of What's My Line, Larry Blood. Hello, all by that Hello. is a sensational goodie that you got on there, Arlene. What is that? Thank you. It's uh, just gold sequin jacket. Oh, uh, is that all it is? That's all it is. Handmade. Well, it's so terrific that everybody's going to be blinded. So before we do our first spot, why don't you all put on your blindfold? <laughs> and it'll make it easier. Yeah. Well, you have to put them on, and okay, you'll understand okay. why almost instanter when you take them off. Okay. You ready? Okay, with our first challenger, enter and sign in, please. John Bentham. You see, panel, if you could see Mr. Bentham in the outfit he's wearing, you'd know what he does. So, just to be sure, we'll remind the audience what his line is, in case anybody out there might forget. And let's start with Anita Gillette. Uh, this is something that you're wearing that would clue us in, is that right? Yes, it would. Uh, it has nothing to do with your physicality. No. All right. <laughs> uh, this uh, outfit, is it, um, may we assume it's not an ethnic outfit? Yes, you may assume that. Uh, it's, is it, um, is it something that uh, if if another per if anybody would have it on we'd uh, well we just know what it is right? Possibly. Possibly. I mean, it's not like a bagpipers outfit or something uh, like that. No, it's right. not. Uh, so. Um, That's hard to answer, Anita. Uh, I mean. It's not quite like that, but it's kind of like that. It's kind of like that. Well, not quite. Uh, like I that. see. Uh, is this a, is this outfit that you're wearing? Is it um, associated with uh, a particular occupation? It is indeed. Is it uh, something? This occupation that does not require a, a lot, great deal of of uh, education. Well, I'd like to think otherwise. One You'd down like and to nine to go, Henry. Um, I was w wondering about. If could, would you ever call what you're wearing, in contradistinction to what other terminology we could use, would you call it a costume? No, I would not. Two down, eight to go, Arlene. Ah, uh, it's not really a costume. Uh, you wouldn't be dressed in something that, or would you be dressed in something that might be seen in an ad? Uh, sometimes, infrequently. So infrequently, Arlene, that quite probably you would not have seen it. So let's say <laughs> three down and seven to go soupy. But we are looking for what he does? That's right. It's called What's My Line. <laughs> it's a good title for a show. Uh, <laughs> if we saw you, we, would we recognize you, John? I, I think you would, sir. Do, do, you, is, do you represent a product that is edible? Uh, no, sir. <laughs> Four down and six to go, Anita. Nobody I'm ever said there was a product the, involved yet. I think I'm well, going to go did. for the occupation. Right. Is this occupation something that you use your, your hands for? Yes, it is, partly. Uh, do you use any equipment when you're doing this? Uh, often. Often. Uh, is it something that um, um, that is large? Sometimes. I mean, do you work on... Uh, do, you, do you work with... Uh, any sort of moving vehicle. Yes, we do. Uh, is it something that is? Is it in the air? 
uh, a part of it. I tell you, everybody is so far away. Wait, wait a minute. And time is running wait. out that I'll just ask if anybody has a notion. I do. What is it? Is it like a, a diving suit? No, it isn't even similar to that. This gentleman, okay. John Bentham, is a Royal Canadian Mounted Policeman. Oh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> and he is Inspector Bentham of the Royal Canadian Mounted Police. Well, this is not the working uniform. No, right? it's, uh, no it's not, Larry. I was up uh, in Dawson City in the Yukon Territory at one time, and uh, there were a lot of Mounties around at that time uh, during a festival up there. And I know that this is the dress uniform. That's right. It's, it's worn on ceremonial occasions, and I think that this is certainly a ceremony. So that's <laughs> well, we'd like to think yes, of it as indeed. a ceremonial occasion. Do you have any women on the force in Canada? Yeah, yes, we do. Uh, there is a troop in training at this time, and they will complete their training just in the new year. I know in the beginning that the Mounties were begun as an organization to protect the people who were settling the land. And part of the job was to go out, and if a guy was building a cabin, you sort of helped him build the cabin. Uh, many, it was a very broad spectrum of duties, uh, particularly in the early, uh, early days, and I like to think that we still extend that service. Do you still do that kind of thing? I think so. In the what do you do community. mainly now? Well, a, a, of course, the broad spectrum of, of uh, our duties involves the, the federal uh, enforcement, uh, also provincial and, in some cases, municipal, like city police work. Do you work on horseback? Yeah, it's not a functional instrument, as you would think of the New York City police, but we use them uh, as the musical ride, which you may have heard of, which performs around the world. Before he leaves, I must tell you that by regulation, Inspector Bentham will donate his winnings to charity. Thank you very much for being with us on this morning. We'll be back with more of What's My Line after this message. It's time for our next challenger to enter and sign in, please. Joe Girard. Where are you from? Detroit, Michigan. All right, panel, on page 247 of the current Guinness Book of World Records, Joe Girard is listed as the best in the world at his occupation. We will show the audience what his line is. <laughs> and let's begin with our input. Well, Mr. Gerard, you seem like a very stylish fellow. Does your job require a certain amount of uh, physical presence? Have, is the yes. record that you... Mm -hmm. Yes. Um, do you indeed do something physical in order to be in the Guinness Book of Records? Yes, I do. Well, uh, how do you mean? Could you define it more? Well, does he Pause. use his hands, his arms, his legs? His yes, he does. I use my hands. Okay. You can go as far as you like, Mr. Gerard. Uh, <laughs> that's uh, an offer you may uh, well let regret. <laughs> I'll let Soupy guess that. <laughs> Are you, um, uh, is it because of endurance that you have won this? Uh, no. One down, nine to go soupy. I never met a man I didn't like that came from Detroit. That's a great place. Uh, Joe, what you do, you say, is, is, you, did you say it was a little physical, what you do? A little physical, yes. And you have the record of this? There's right. some physical activity connected with almost anything you do, soupy, even this. And in that sense, there is physical activity yeah. connected with it. All right. Is it, is it, can we rule out food and drink? Yes. Uh, when you do this, do you do, can you do it indoors as well as out, Joe? Either place. Uh, would it take place or you'd be more comfortable around a gym? No. Or around a Helen? No, or I'll freedom? give you this one, uh, hint, panel. Uh, there's a product connected with what he does. Anita? Ah, good. Uh, this product, uh, well... I mean, I was just thinking, can I, I want to take a stab at this because right. of his personality. You seem like, like you would be a terrific salesman. I mean, does it have anything to do with selling? Yes. Uh, you sell something better or more than anybody else. You're anybody. like the best salesman of something in the world, in right? In the whole world. Okay, now this something that you sell, is and it something I'm great. that, yeah, I'll bet you are. Uh, <laughs> is it something that both men and women can uh, use? Yes. Uh, is it something that is uh, a large product? Yes. Like a car or something? Are you like yes. the best car salesman in the world? That's it. He is a world champion automobile salesman. <laughs> 
Hanging out in California too long. I know him from television. They Joe Girard thing. is employed by Marola Chevrolet of East Detroit. What's the record? Last year was 1,425. Mm -hmm. uh, I did it eight, eight times in a row, eight years in a row. No man's ever held the title more than one time. This year will be my ninth time in the world. What's the greatest number you ever sold in one day? 18 cars. Wow. <laughs> How can you sell 18 cars in a day? You got a bicycle. Well, I, I'm... No, You're the best. I'm just the best. What do you do? To, you got a brown bag you carry around with right, you, right? Right, Will you show us how you use that? What do you do? Yes. What is your technique? I've well, here, never heard of it. show you, huh? okay? Come on with me. Go with you? Come on with me. All right. Now, I never go any place unless I take business cards with me. So why not work all the time? So when I go to a baseball game, I wait for somebody to hit a home run, and I go, wow! <laughs> I go to a football game, and there's a touchdown. Wow! I see. And here's some for the bench. <laughs> Oh, is that what makes you such a good, a good, a good salesman? It's gotta be something more no, than that. No, it's me, really. Yeah. I treat people good, and they like it. I treat people like they want to be treated. What's the toughest customer you have to handle? I hate to say it. Yeah. Uh, it's Wait. my people, the Italian people. They're the toughest people in the world to sell. Why is that? No matter what price you give them, they, they say, bought, it's a too much. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, matter what. no matter what price you give them. You I gave them? one away free. One time he says that's still too much. You gave it away? Well, I tried. To. Now you have a training fill out, uh, film out trying to teach yeah, people how to Yeah, a training sell. film right. It lasts two hours. I just made it in San Francisco, and it's going to be sold to dealers all over the world. And what's it all about? By Joe Girard. And if anybody is interested, box three five eight, East Detroit, Michigan. <laughs> well, listen. And good. you'll sell cars like you never sold in your life. Good luck. <laughs> Thank you for being with me. Okay, Cookie. Any more pace thick and chunky suck? And it's time now for the special feature of What's My Line, the appearance of our mystery guest. Are your blindfolds oh, no. available, panel? Uh, they are available. Yeah. Now, are they all in place? Yeah. Yeah. Sure, then yeah. would our mystery guest enter and sign in, please? Okay, Thank panel, you. we'll go one question at a time. Face law prevails. You have about two minutes, and let's begin with Henry Morgan. You're in television, right? What? <laughs> You're in television, right? What does that mean, in? Yeah, on. I never been in before. Huh? Well, yeah, I guess it's uh, the beginning of the end. Arlene? Are you on a regular show? Well, no, but that's your loss. <laughs> I'm with <Super>. you. <clears throat> uh, do you appear in nightclubs? Yeah. Anita? You're a comic, right? You betcha. <laughs> Henry? Sound more like a car salesman. <laughs> uh, uh, do you know where you can go. Well, it's not the first time it's been suggested. <laughs> Are you appearing in New York at the moment? Only here. Arlene? <laughs> With a voice like that, I hope you sing. <laughs> Very badly. Soupy? Oh. Do you ever work with puppets? Oh. Oh, you. Go to heaven. <laughs> Is it Sherry Lewis? How did you do that? How did you do that? How did you do that? See, it was nothing personal, Henry. It was this devil. Who is this person? I'll get you, Soupy. <laughs> Who you is want... this person? Hey, listen, you know, uh, that yeah. guy ran a car lot? I yeah. run a used soul lot. Do you really? Oh, yeah, I'm buying souls. You want to sell, Soupy? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I mean, we don't normally get much for show business, people. <laughs> but if I could get Soupy, that would be the biggie. Yeah. <laughs> Where did you develop this new person? 
This new person? This new person's been around a long time, Buster. Let me put it another way, sir. Yes? Where'd you get this character on your <laughs> neck? <laughs> well, actually, would you like to introduce yourself? It's about time. Go ahead. I'm Neville the Devil, cousin of Evil Knievel. <laughs> <laughs> now, is, is this new to your act? Am I new to your act? Yes. Well, actually, Neville has played with me in Reno. Yeah. And in uh, Vegas, we just closed in Vegas. Yeah. And uh, I love him dearly. Well, now, how does Lamb... Is that Lamb... embarrassing? Oh, <laughs> sorry. How does, uh, how does Lamb Chop and all the others, how do they react to him? Oh, oh, very nicely. Very nicely. Neville generally opens the act, and then the rest of them have to make do with what's left. Oh, my. What yeah. is he, a, is he, are you a show hog? Is that what you do? You betcha. Are you going to have a new show with Sherry? No, not me. You want to talk to yourself? Can you be quiet for a moment? Yeah. Yeah, we'll be having a new show and a new radio show and a new TV series. That's exciting. Is yeah. that going to start within the next year? September, and oh. it's Situation Comedy. That Situation Comedy? For the Saturday morning market. You know, the Saturday morning shows have improved a great deal. Yeah. And they're doing a great many live shows now where everybody had to be a cartoon in the past. Yeah. So since I'm a live person, I consider it a great improvement. And we'll be on Well, you've September. run for the old Charry Lewis show. You won just about every prize you could win every year, didn't you? Thank you. You're welcome. Thank you. I've also been very grateful to you. I always wanted to wow. direct, and the only person who had enough confidence to let me direct her was Sherry. You were super. You did four of our shows, and yeah. they were four of the funniest shows we did. Well, it was a joy. You weren't there, but maybe next time we'll meet. Next time, Buster. So Happy long, to meet sweet. you. Nice to meet you. Okay, bye, everybody. Goodbye. Bye. Thank you for being with us on this morning. We'll be back with more of What's My Line after this message. Want. You're watching Game Show Network. Don't miss the newlywed game with Bob Eubanks, followed by the dating game, then load up for Family Feud Challenge. We're back, and it's time for our next challenger to enter and sign in, please. Lorelei. Beauty Cat. <laughs> New York City. Okay, panel, Lorelei Buten Kent is involved in research on a product. We'll show the audience what the product is. <laughs> and let's start with Susie Say. Thank you. Lorelei, this product, is it something edible? No. <laughs> One down, nine to go, Anita. Is it something that I would use? Yes. Is it something that uh, is mm. applied? Um, not really. Not really. No. Two down, eight to go, Henry. Uh, this is for, for ladies, right? Um. Mainly, I would say. Mainly, yeah. And I think what um, Anita meant by applied is put on yourself, uh, yes. something like that. Um, is it any, in any way something that um, women wear? No. Three down, seven to go, Arlene. Is it anything in the cosmetic field at all? Yes, I would say. <clears throat> is it, um, does it have any kind of odor? Yes. Um, it therefore is a scent of some kind that is incorporated into some product, is yes. that correct? Is it, uh, would you test something, not test, is it test, is that what, is that okay, what? Okay, research. Research. Uh, something uh, that might have to do with the uh, bubble bath or anything like that. That's it. <laughs> <laughs> uh, dynamite. We're going to throw them all over. What the hell, Miss Wheaton? Lorelei has been researching consumer reaction to Clairol's brand new clouds of herbal essence. How do you do? Or is it herbal essence? How do you? Herbal say? essence. How do you do it? Well, Clairol maintains a test area called the Forum where we distribute our products to consumers along with a questionnaire. Then we analyze the questionnaire to determine what changes consumers might like to see in the product. Like what do you ask, for example? One of the most important questions to us is whether the consumers recognize the fact that the fragrance in the new Clairol Clouds Verbal Essence Bubble Bath is the same as the fragrance found in Clairol's Herbal Essence Shampoo, which it is. Now, do you ever get into the tub yourself and see how it's working? Sure. 
um, one week I was taking about 15 baths to test whether these skin softeners and moisturizers were effective, which they were. And you were so relaxed that then you couldn't get up. Couldn't work the next <laughs> week. <laughs> Aside from its uh, fragrance, is there anything else that makes clouds of herbal essence distinctive? Well, it's biodegradable and it doesn't leave a bathtub ring. That's what I would love to have. Something that wouldn't leave a bathtub ring. I'll give you some. Will you? Sure. I'll take it. Okay, Thank fine. you for being with Thank us on What's that. My Line. Okay. <laughs> This is Jack Gould speaking for What's My Line. A Mark and Sidney Bill Tuck production. This pass is gowns by Bob Lutella. This program was recorded. This Thank you.